Hey guys, welcome back. And today we are going to make this cell phone control manual robot which you can control from any part of the world by just dialing a number and you are good to go. We will use only 5 keys to control this bot, 2 to move forward, 8 for backward, 4 for left and 6 for right and 0 to stop. So without any ado, let's get started. Components need to build this project are a DTM of module or dual tone multiple frequency module, one standard 3.5 mm headphone jack, motor driver which is L29A10, you can also use L29 3D instead, Arduino Uno, and of course you need one manual robot. Now, you also need battery with a push button and a power jack. So these are the connections we have to make. First L2918. E is 5V so it is directly connected to 5V pin of Arduino. F is ground so it is connected to ground of Arduino. And G is 12V so it is directly connected to VIN pin of Arduino you know. Now A and B, A, B, C and D are directly connected to motors terminal. This is for uh, left motors and this is for right motors. H, I, J, K are the logic pins. H, I are connected to 2 and 3. J, K are connected to 12 and 13. Now DTM of module A is 5 A is uh, VCC and B is ground so A is connected to 3.3 volt whereas B is connected to ground these are the logic pins D0, D1, D2 and D3 so they are connected to 11, 10, 9 and 8 pin of Arduino Uno respectively now audio jack is directly connected here after making connection tightly connect your jack to the DTM of module so that when bot is moving the jack do not get loose these are the connections I have made you can see all the three components are connected properly and uh, jack is also connected power jack is connected uh, with a battery to Arduino this is the front view ok now let's see how it works so I've connected one mobile phone to the jack and made the call from this mobile phone. Now let's open the dial pad and see how it works. So 8 for backward, 0 to stop, 4 for left, 0 to stop and 6 for right, 0 to stop, 2 for forward and again 0 to stop. So guys this is the program you need to go into your Arduino. You can download this code from the link I'm giving in the description below. Now if you really want to know what's happening in this program then you can check out my article. I'm giving the link of that article too in the description. So check it out. I